Today I will show you a little bit about uh, control point curve. Uh, and control point curve is very important when you're trying to build uh, advanced surfaces based on uh, curvature and continuity and geometric continuity. Um, basically with curves you can make mm, uh, 2D drawings just a plain 1D uh, sketches whatever you like depends what you need but I as a industrial designer need curve as a base to create advanced uh, models of uh, products of uh, objects which are of any type of uh, everyday use product products so control point there is two kind of uh, uh, two kind of curves one of one of them is uh, just two point to polyline just make two point polyline and uh, characteristic of the two-point line is that there is no curvature there is no third point of a curvature which is very important and uh, this is control point curve as you can see if you if you start the uh, comment you have to make at least three points to make uh, make a control point curves you can of course make uh, more points if you want you can close the loop and then you m you are you get a very advanced uh, nice shape how you can uh, turn the control points on so basically there is uh, two comments here one is points on points off and then here you can edit points and points off but basically to turn your points on you just need to uh, left mouse click here and then you've got the points all uh, showed uh, if you have Rhino 5 you can uh, uh, turn the gamble on so it's much more uh, useful when you have control points and just uh, drag and drop the point basically the creating control point curve is easy but the really controlling the control point curve you need to know a little bit about the technique of it so I will show you a little bit how to how to do it proper at least at the base I need I do so okay let's delete this and start from the beginning uh, I will make uh, just uh, three points control point line I'll finish this I will put this control point on and you've got nice smooth shape and exactly the same shape you can get when you make uh, more points you'll see so I will start from the beginning I'll start at the same shape well, it's pretty pretty the same nice and then we let's turn the p control points on what's the difference between the those two just a simple this is only three point three control points this is much more Wh how uh, what is what impact it has uh, with creating the next step which is in my case creating surfaces if you create surface out of these two curves and then turn the control points it's much more difficult to control surface uh, look for example if you just drag and drop this point you've got this nice and smooth shape uh, around only these three points and if, if you want to do it the same here this is a little bit more complicated if you know what I mean by doing this uh, this move so the first very important information for you is to create as less 
control point as possible so create only that amount you need don't create more so and also it's better to start with very general shape and then add control points then uh, and then delete them because if you delete the control points you will lose shape if you add them you will you can fit uh, your control points and the shape will be the same so uh, basically when it was uh, how it was on my previous tutorials it's really good to start with uh, less control points uh, you have to remember that so so basically if you extrude those shapes right now let's do it you will you will get something something like this uh, you your surface will become your your carved shape uh, this is quite simple because you've got now two sections and one of them is a top section when you can just move the control points and uh, all surface is changing but if you rebuild the surface and then other control points like a, sec like a section then this is like more trouble to control so the better is to create less points at the beginning and then to try to rebuild it somehow and make it in um, in steps you see now if we've got something like this and it's much easier to find the right shape and then just add uh, about about rebuilding and uh, adding more control points i will tell you in the next part of my tutorial so also one thing you have to know that uh, uh, if we have a control point uh, curve like this so uh, it has a control points you can rebuild this uh, mm, this uh, control point uh, curves and it rebuilding means uh, adding control points or changing or uh, increasing or decreasing control points on that specific curve and also it the same the same situation is with uh, surfaces uh, and I'll show you how to rebuild right now so this is something something going on with point count and you can now we've got three and two and degree is three and we change it for six and you can just preview like this and and when you finish it's gonna be like that this is a very useful tool and also you can change and decrease and it's less points this is something which is very very useful when you when you're using a uh, control point and starting and also we have to know that there is uh, something about control point curves that you can easily and uh, uh, add another one and match it together using continuity, geometric continuity. This is something which is actually use, uh, using very often in uh, all uh, products, uh, modeling and all car industry mm, modeling mm, uh, forms. So it's quite uh, good to know that this is important this is about the control points and I think uh, only one more thing you have to know that if in, it in this exa example we have three points and when you use kind of uh, different modification like and comments uh, sometimes these comments might destroy your simplicity of the curve I will show you the one uh, common I found down that really destroying the the, mm, the shape of your control point setting. Look, this is this is a comment uh, called offset curve. If you do the offset, let's do the ten centimeters and offset, 
and now when you turn the control points on so there's plenty of them and actually now there's there's a little sh chance to get right offset to be the same uh, amount of control points so we i will try to keep this information in um, all my tutorials in future and i'll try to build uh, as simply tutorials as simple shapes as possible to get get all the information about uh, about that for you to modeling uh, in proper way so thank you for watching and see you next time